What is up, YouTube? You want to learn how to make Princess Elsa? Well, you're going to have to learn with this hard grunge rock in the background because those songs are so annoying. Oh, I can't take it anymore. But unfortunately, Elsa is the hot, hot, hot balloon at the moment as far as princess girls are concerned. I no longer make Cinderella or Ariel or Rapunzel or Belle or Sleeping Beauty or Snow White because it's Elsa, 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 Elsa. So I'm going to get right into it. If you've seen my princess video, you know I'm going to tie the two balloons together and I'm going to start with the two loops. However, I am not going to put a pinch twist like I normally do because Elsa's braid is going to uh, offset that. And what I did was... I started by doing the two loops and then made arms with one balloon, okay? And then I brought them both down and now I'm doing the dress in which I am going up and down like I always do. And then you can do the uh, little belt loop if you want, but I would recommend just making a six balloon dress. So you'll have three in the front and three in the back. And that would be my recommendation. And for me, this Elsa is a really, really uh, detailed design, minus the cape. I didn't add the cape because I usually get away with kids not asking about the cape. But every once in a while, the girl wants the cape. And I'm like, no, 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 I can't do that. But she does have long sleeves. She's not a short-sleeved princess. So that's why it's important to give her uh, the blue arms. So now that the body's done, let's make the head. So my recommendation is to use a 350 for the face because Elsa has a big face. You can use a 260, go right ahead. You could also use a 321 or a Linkaloon if you want, but the 350 will do the job. And I tied the white balloon to the 350 and I made the pinch twist and the loop, just like the old princess, but here's the twist. Uh, she has a braid, a very long braid. Well, not very long, but she has a long braid. It's a very, very important characteristic of Elsa. So what I'm doing is I'm introducing the new balloon to the bottom of the head, and then I'm going up and down with the new balloon. And what that is going to do is you're going to have a nice braid because you're going to have two balloons roughly the same length, give or take. And it's going to really help you out when you get to the braid part. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> My troops are ready in Boom Beach. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, so now that the head is done and it's all nice and situated. So here we go. We're going to just run the two balloons through the two loops. And if you do put a pinch twist there, it's going to mess you up. If you do two pinch twists, it's also going to mess you up, so there's no pinch twist for this one. It works fine without it. So you're just going to situate her head nice and clean, just like that. That looks nice. And now you're going to do the spiral braid for her hair. And look, check it out. Both balloons are pretty much the same size, which is awesome. Here we go. Loopity, 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 loopity. And now you have two balloons with a tail, which is great. So you twist them together, run one balloon under. And what I do is, her hair looks stupid like that when it's just kicking out like, like crazy. We don't want that. And in the movie, her hair kind of like goes over her left shoulder, but that's not going to happen. That, that's just, no. It's not going to fly. So what I like to do is I tie it to the bottom and I've kind of done it a few different ways but what I've done lately is that middle bubble I'll just grab the two pieces and stick them through and then I'll either tie them together or I'll just kind of like run them down into the bottom which is what I'm doing here and it's just so the hair stays put you know so the hair doesn't go flying around and everything now here's the thing I'm not drawing the face because my artwork is horrible. I'm sure if you just stare at Elsa, you can make your own artwork. But I use the Edding Paint Pen, 
I give her two big white eyes, I give her a white smile, and then I draw little snowflakes all over her dress because that's really a nice detail, is when you draw little snowflakes with the white paint pen all over her, her dress, it makes her look beautiful. And there it is, guys, that's the fastest Elsa I could possibly make that looks very impressive and it's still pretty cool. So good luck and I hope you enjoy it. And now for the stick, I just stick it in right in the dress, nice and uh, subtle. And there it is. Nice short video. Thumbs up. Subscribe. See ya.